salam and welcome to hashtag what the patriarchy where we try to dismantle the patriarchy one muslim feminist theme at a time sometimes one muslim feminist book at a time and in many cases one chapter of a muslim feminist book at a time thank you so much for being here this is shahnaz so summer is almost over sadly i have to go back to work in a couple of weeks but i got to enjoy a ton of it at swimming pools and beaches i love swimming i can barely swim but I'm learning and every time I'm at a pool or at a beach and I see Muslim families around me I always think I'm going to make this video and then I forget and so here I am finally at last I am here to tell you not to trust any Muslim man or any man really who himself freely shows his skin and different parts of his body that he likes at a, at a beach or at a pool, but forces or requires the women in his family or the women that he thinks he has control over, that he's given himself control over, like his wife or sister or daughter, and sometimes even mothers, or other women in his family to cover their bodies, the same body parts that he himself is freely parading in, to, to the public. Such men are selfish and entitled and they need to be held accountable for, for being that way. Swimming with a lot of clothing is hard for everyone, not just for men, but yet it's only women who are supposed to be covered head to toe all the way when they're swimming, when they're in the water. No thank you, patriarchy. It is inconvenient and difficult and challenging for everyone, not just for men to be fully clothed in water, to be swimming with while fully clothed. But no, in a patriarchy, only men are allowed the luxury of convenience. And you should know that it is a form of psychological violence to force people to dress and think and behave a certain way and to shame them for showing their skin or different body parts. And before anyone thinks that I am assuming that all Muslim women who cover do so because some man in their family is making them, no, 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 I know that that is not the case. I do not believe for a moment that that is the case, that every Muslim woman who covers does so because some man in her family is forcing her to. Um, I am not talking about women at all here. I am talking about only those men who themselves do not cover their bodies when they're swimming or different parts of their bodies when they're swimming, but they force or require or even expect the women in their families to cover like at a beach or at a swimming pool, but also generally. And those are the men that I am warning against. Those are controlling men. Those are selfish men. Those are entitled, entitled men. Those are the men that I do not respect. You see, too many Muslim men gladly swim wearing shorts, wear swimming shorts, as if it is obligatory on them to dress like that when they're swimming. I had an experience in Oman a few years ago that made me realize how selfish patriarchal men are and not just Muslim ones to be sure, any man that is patriarchal. I was doing this Arabic program and it, it, it was an institute uh, run by Muslims and one day we were taken to this beach as a part of our cultural excursion and it was a public beach and when we arrived the girls in the program hadn't initially planned to take any clothes off or to wear their bikinis but then when we saw that all of the men in the program, many of them Muslims and a few non-Muslims, with the exception of only one decent Muslim male in our program, took off all of their clothes and just put on swimsuits. Then the girls were like, oh, I guess we can as well. So they did too. And oh my God, the panic. The men all started freaking out and they looked away and they're like, oh my God, oh my God, astaghfirullah, this is not allowed. This is not acceptable. This is, you're in a Muslim majority country and this is a public beach and blah, 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 right? They weren't allowing us to show any skin at a beach when swimming while they themselves were very eager to take everything off as if that was acceptable and normal and as if that was mandatory for them to do so. Because here's the thing, okay? There's nothing in men's skin, there's nothing in men's bodies that makes it impossible for them to cover their skin as much as they require women to do so when they're in the water. Our skin is going to handle and react to water in the same ways, so why are men allowed to show skin in water but women not? So even if some of us agree, and, and I don't agree with this, but even if some people agree that a woman's body needs to be covered more than a man's body or different parts of a woman's body needs to be, need to be covered, is a man forbidden from covering his skin? Is he forbidden from covering any parts of his body? No, of course not. He's not going to go to hell if he decided to, to, to cover his entire body while he's swimming in the water 
in the same exact way that he's forcing the women in his family to do so. Yet you see all of these dudes, these Muslim dudes, these patriarchal dudes, I don't, not all Muslim men are patriarchal, I know, but any man who is forcing him, his wife or his daughter or whoever to, to cover her skin while he himself is showing it is being patriarchal. So you see all of these Muslim dudes at, at the beach, at different beaches, swimming with little clothing while their wives or sisters or daughters or other women in their families are in full abayas and hijabs or burkinis, a full body covering when they're swimming. You would think that the woman's body just inherently, fundamentally, biologically can handle water better with more cloth on her body and that a man's body simply cannot function in water if it is covered in the same way that a woman's body is covered. To me, this is an example of a man parading his male privilege because does a man need to show his skin any more than a woman when he's at the beach, when he's in water, when he's swimming? Is there something special about the man's skin and his body that requires that he uncover? If not, then why does he do that? Why does he uncover at the beach when he is not allowing a woman to do so? It's because he's allowed to, because he simply can, right? And that is what we call privilege. And also, like, how selfish do you have to be to enjoy the water, but to not allow someone else to enjoy it, the women in your family, the women who are with you, to enjoy it because they can't get in the water because they are fully clothed, and it won't be as fun in the water if they're fully clothed. But you are not fully covered, and you get to enjoy the water. Like, how are you able to enjoy yourself? Is that not selfish? Do you feel good about yourself? That's really, really sad. See, this is why I don't take any man seriously if he himself wears shorts and goes topless to the beach or pool, but expects the women that he has some control over or that he considers his property to cover their full body when they're at the beach or when they're swimming. No decent human male shows off his privilege like that. And yes, it is a question of privilege. It is privilege to be able to wear close to nothing in the heat, in water, and not feel weird or left out or the center of attention or just uncomfortable. And by the way, this goes for men who wear, you know, whatever they want outside of the pool also, outside of the heat and outside of the swimming. If in general a man is, you know, showing his arms and legs and can, you know, wear whatever kinds of kind of clothing he wants, but then prevents or prohibits his wife or daughter or sister or girlfriend or whoever else from being comfortable with whatever we, she wants to wear, that man is being selfish and entitled and he does not, he should not be given access to any women ever. He is not to be trusted with women because he only likes to control women. And that is how you know that most modesty rules are not from God, but from men who benefit from these rules because for them it is a privilege. And we all know how privilege works, yes? When we have it, we're selfish with it. We don't want to share it. It stops being a privilege then. It's just so convenient that the God that these people who see women as sex objects and sexual beings in, in, in a way that men aren't seen as believes in and agrees with the same exact rules. This is so ironic to me because religious patriarchy tries to claim that these standards are designed to benefit women because otherwise men will treat women's bodies as sex objects. But if you actually think about it closely or even just a tiny, tiny bit, it is religious patriarchy, like non-religious patriarchy and anti-religious patriarchy to be sure, that treats women's bodies as sex objects. Why else do we have to cover everything at all times and a man doesn't? Why not teach men to behave and control and discipline themselves and their bodies and their sexual urges and to respect women's bodies and presence? Why is it so much easier in a patriarchy to control women to tell women what to do, to regulate women's behavior and thinking and ways of living, than to simply teach a man to be a decent human being and respect other people's bodies. They tell us that, oh, we can't control what others do, but you can control what you as a woman do. Great, can you tell men too that you can't control how women will dress and how women will behave, but that you as a man can control yourself? And so don't attack women, don't ogle at women, don't stare at women, don't disrespect women's bodies. I have a whole chapter on patriarchy and the enabling and facilitating and excusing of male entitlement and male behavior and male disrespect of women's bodies 
in my upcoming book in the chapter on female-led prayer because it is very, very relevant there. It's one of my favorite chapters and I can't wait for the book to be out. So I'll let you know when the book is out, you can read the full chapter for, for more details. Anyway, I know swimming is not the most important thing in the world to a lot of people and so I understand that this video won't speak to everyone, but as someone who grew up with extremely strict modesty rules and modesty standards, I love the freedom that I have that comes with the littlest and biggest things, alhamdulillah. And I actually don't at all agree that swimming is a small thing, that being able to wear whatever you want is a, is, is a, is a trivial matter because it is huge when you did not have that freedom growing up or when you don't have that freedom just anywhere. Being able to wear whatever you want and whenever you want is a luxury that very few people around the world have. Okay, I'll stop here. Thanks so much for watching and happy summers and please stay peaceful. Salam.